Why does this matter now? The countries to which these prophesies pertain have been the subject of centuries of conjecture. Now that Turkey, Russia, and Iran have formed military partnerships, the pieces are starting to fit together. Iran, in particular, has been outspoken in its anti-Israel sentiment. Advocating for its annihilation and supporting Hezbollah and other proxy groups in their conflict. Is this predicted clash being triggered by the growing tensions between Iran and Israel? Think about the latest Russian Iranian military drills and clandestine operations. Even Israel's intentions to strike Iran's nuclear facilities in advance have been made public by U.S. intelligence leaks, which might lead to a wider conflict. The striking thing about the Bible's prophecies is how well they reflect the state of politics today. Once a crucial partner of the West, Iran has now completely joined the anti-Israel coalition outlined in Ezekiel. The stage is set for the final conflict with the rise in military exercises. The possibility of retaliatory attacks and nuclear aspirations. Israel has consistently been at the focus of biblical prophecies. However, in recent decades, the hostility between Israel and Iran has only gotten worse. Iran's animosity toward Israel stems from its political and religious convictions, which hold that the country is an illegitimate state. This hostility is specifically addressed in Ezekiel's prophecy. It predicts that Israel will eventually have to contend with a coalition headed by Gog, who is seen as a northern character and frequently associated with Rusiran. Persia and a number of other countries are included. What is this alliance's goal? The total destruction of Israel. The prophecy, however, takes a startling turn at this point. The God of Israel intervenes when various countries band together to destroy Israel. According to the Bible, God will demonstrate his might by causing natural disasters, plagues, and confusion among the occupying soldiers. In a miracle triumph for Israel, God will set the armies against one another, according to Ezekiel 38 21. Israel is currently getting ready for a possible confrontation with Iran. Whether it involves fighting Iranian proxies in Syria and Lebanon, or launching retaliatory attacks on Iran's nuclear facilities. Is this the Gog and Magog Wars forerunner? The similarities are remarkable. Iran, Persia, and a number of other countries are included. What is this alliance's goal? The total destruction of Israel. The prophecy, however, takes a startling turn at this point. The God of Israel intervenes when various countries band together to destroy Israel. According to the Bible, God will demonstrate his might by causing natural disasters, plagues, and confusion among the occupying soldiers. In a miracle triumph for Israel, God will set the armies against one another, according to Ezekiel 38, 21. Israel is currently getting ready for a possible confrontation with Iran. Whether it involves fighting Iranian proxies in Syria and Lebanon, or launching retaliatory attacks on Iran's nuclear facilities. Is this the Gog and Magog Wars forerunner? The similarities are remarkable. Biblical prophecy is supported by Iran's growing military presence, as well as Russia's and Turkey's increasing engagement. Iran will be a part of a worldwide coalition that seeks to destroy Israel according to the Bible. However, the predictions are unmistakable. The course of history will be altered at this point by God's divine intervention. Gog and Magog are mentioned in the Book of Revelation as well although the fight takes place at a later time. Following the year 2000, according to Revelation 27, 9, Satan will be let loose to deceive the nations following a millennium of peace. Gog and Magog will spearhead a last-ditch attack on God's people once more. Although this conflict is different from the one in Ezekiel, the fact that Gog and Magog appear in both predictions emphasizes the ongoing resistance against God's people. The question of whether God will have the last word, and if Ezekiel's conflict takes place. Before or after Iran and Persia turn against Israel in the end, times has been discussed by scholars. Iran's future involvement in prophecies is clearly depicted in the Bible. It will be a country that opposes Israel, but in the end, God will punish it. Iran will play a role in the ultimate conflict between good and evil. And it will conclude with God defeating the powers of evil as Ezekiel foretold. Iran is pushing for a new international order that is independent of U.S. influence, which is seen in its growing disobedience of the West, especially the U.S. Along with countries like China and Russia, 
Iran has pushed for global governance that challenges Western domination and alternative financial systems that circumvent the U.S. dollar. The Bible's end-time predictions, especially those pertaining to the emergence of the Antichrist and a one-world government, are consistent with this drive for a new global order. Could this foretelling change be facilitated by Iran's desire to alter the balance of power in the world? The Antichrist will become the world's ruler. According to the Book of Revelation, and many countries, including Iran, might be involved in bringing about this new system. A final kingdom that is more powerful than all others will emerge at a certain time. According to the book of Daniel, this kingdom will use its economic, political, and military might to try to take over the entire planet. Iran's attempts to undermine Western influence and assert its supremacy in the Middle East appear to be consistent with this prophecy. What does this signify for Christians, though, first and foremost? We need to keep in mind that the Bible promises us God's ultimate plan for Israel and the world. God pledges to act miraculously to show that He alone is sovereign over history, even though Iran and other countries may turn against Israel. Second, these incidents serve as a reminder of our Christian duty during these trying times. Jesus tells us in Matthew 24, 42 to remain vigilant since we cannot predict the day or time of His return. Given that the end times might be near, we should be more watchful and devoted to our relationship with Christ now than ever before. Christ must be the cornerstone of our foundation as the world becomes more chaotic. Spend some time reading the Bible, pray frequently, and deepen your connection with God. These incidents serve as a reminder of our unending hope in Christ, who has already triumphed over sin and death. People are looking for truth and hope in these turbulent times. Spread the good news of salvation to others. The good news that Jesus Christ gives salvation and eternal life to everyone, who believes in Him is also revealed in the same Bible that makes future predictions, John 3.16. As Christians, we are obligated to pray for all nations, and for the peace of Jerusalem, Psalm 122, 6. Pray for opportunities to communicate the gospel with people in war areas, for the church to be protected, and for international leaders to have discernment and wisdom. Even though the world may appear unpredictable, we are called to trust God through every hardship, because He is in charge and has predetermined the outcome. Allow these forecasts to inspire you to live a more purposeful life and concentrate on things that will last. The events of today are not coincidental. Rather, they are a part of God's divine plan, as the Bible's predictions about Iran tell us. As Christians, it is our responsibility to hold on to our beliefs, wait for His second coming, and spread the gospel to others before it is too late. Please like, subscribe, and share this video if you thought it was enlightening. As these prophecies come to pass, what do you think Christians ought to be doing? We would love to hear your opinions, so please leave them in the comments section. Finally, how are you spiritually getting ready as we watch these predictions come to pass? Let's continue the discussion. Are we about to see these prophecies from the Bible come to pass? What role does Iran play in the end times, in your opinion? Stay tuned for additional in-depth videos on these prophetic subjects, and let's talk about it together.